Hello everyone, I'm Gustar and welcome back to some more Fatal 12. Last time we left off, uh, Miharu said she would give her life to, for us for bring kids to live. And now we meet Federico. So let us continue. I failed one, only once in my life and I'm determined to keep it that way. I guess Lady Luck isn't the only one to pay me a visit though. Her much less unfortunate sister had made sure to stop by too. Oi, Omae. Nani bought to stay aganda. Her name is Odette. This charming individual is Odette Malencon. Much like me, she's a participant in divine selection. Under normal circumstances, we should be aiming to eliminate each other, but we've agreed to help one another for the time being. Well, I guess it'd be more accurate to say that she forced me into a truce. <clears throat> We use Capricorn as code as my code name when we're speaking. It's based on my zodiac sign. In turn, Virge Virg Virge is hard for her. My only issue is that pronouncing French words is kinda of tricky for an Italian like myself. Yeah, I could tell. Anyway, I'm the one who does suggest using code names. I did that mainly because our names are valuable info when it comes to eliminating others in divine selection. Neither of us are supposed to know each other's real name. Knowing her, she probably used some connection to pull my name out of the butt lake. Ha! Huh. But she won't tell me that straight up. Obviously, I know her real name as well, but I haven't told her. Keeping that stuff to herself is the reason our current relationship works in the first place. しかし、ここが北京で良かった。中華料理の中で私は北京料理ってのが一番好きだからね。元々が新王朝の宮廷料理だからな。誰の味が丁寧なんだ。それに寒い北京の気候に合わせてカロリーが高い。味も重要だが
意味ねえんだ調べれば分かることだからな死因もそうだ自分の死んだ時間におおよその見当がついているから時間をかけて調べればおのずと知ることができる言いたいことは分かるなバカにするなこの選定は未練を探り合う情報戦ってことが言いたいんだろそれくらいは分かってる分かった上でコードネームを使うってんだからお前は小物なんだよ使命なんて捨てろ捨てろだが全員分の未練はカードでランダムに配布されてるじゃねえか誰かが俺たちの未練のカードを持っているはずだぜ初期カードはランダムなんだから都合よく私らの情報を3枚揃えられるわけじゃない<笑> Okay, so Federico's is, regret is not a gold medal, it's somebody else's 1回目の選定で誰も私らを指名しなかったんだから運よく揃ったやつはいないってことが明らかになってるあのインド人も私らのカードを入手したわけじゃなさそうだしなもしそうならやれるやつからやってった方が得だもし最初に配られた3枚で誰かの手元にあんたのカードが揃ってたらどうするつもりだったんだ運命を呪うだけだよ賭けに負けたって死ぬだけだ I can't really stand this woman sometimes She makes you think she's got it all planned out but she leaves the most crucial bits up to luck Her cautious and rational actions end up getting thrown out the window when she goes wild for no discernible reasons I honestly don't know what goes on in her head This is the first time I've come across a woman Who doesn't just do whatever a man tells him to? Excuse you? A woman doesn't have to do what a man says? The worst part of it, though. Ma, say, go no, fatty, ni, naru, made, wa, kyo, lyuk, kan, kay, da. Shita, ga, na, it, ten, nara. Mata, nagu, te, yaru, kara, ka, ka, te, ki, na. That's what she does to resolve everything. She resorts to violence. I can't call her a nasty name out loud, so I just keep the insults to myself. Did, da. 選定の最後の日には日本にいなくちゃいけないんだろなのにどうして俺たちは中国にいるんだ決まってるだろ私は北京ダックが好きだが本場では食ったことがなかったんだおいおいマジかよついでに宿題の答え合わせをしに来たんだ<笑>はあ私たちの船が襲われる直前中国食品企業の重役さんが会議中に倒れたってニュースが入ってたんだ As you might have guessed, Odette's the representative of, for a certain shipping company Of course, we're talking about this woman, so ain't no way a no plain shipping company Doesn't matter if it involves drugs or dead bodies, they'll take any job they get paid to do In that regard, you should call them smugglers Their existence is kept in the dark, though, likely because certain governments aren't shy about making use of them. Well, it's not quite accurate to say they'll take up any job, considering Odette makes it a point to turn down anything she considers boring. Certain circumstances with Mariah Hitchin are right on her boat, which is how we ended up cooperating in the first place. おおそれって I can't even take the bite of, of food in front of my mouth when she says that She's on the, She on the other hand grabs the bottle of egg and downs what's left in it 仕事柄こういう世界の情勢ってのを気にしてないといけないから私は一度聞いたら忘れねえローちゃん<咳>そいつの名前だ調べ直してみたらまあピンピンしてるみたいだぜ<gasps> The moment she mentions his name the book besides her emits a strange light It's a big thick overall color book with gold leaf decorations on it but there ain't no pages in it just a big hole in the middle where you open it I got the exact same book see it's some kind of card storing book used to for the red the light selection こいつはいい 
The dull light focuses into a single point where she, when she opens her book. It gradually fades and is placed a rectangular piece of paper or that catches it while it's hovering midair. The girl who was going on about being a goddess mentioned that the cause of, of our deaths had been undone. The fact that our dead was able to notice such a paradox proves that the girl wasn't lying. ロー、太っていたな。ってことは、糖尿病を患ってたかもしれない。そうなると、低血糖。いや、企業の重役に登り詰めた奴が命に関わるミスを犯すとは思えない。会議中に突然死。脳梗塞か心筋梗塞だな
Japan time, of course. So we'll be in a good spot if we manage to get all three pieces of info on him before then. <clears throat> As for why I'm tailing him on my own, well, that's done with a hangover. Not in the way you imagine, though. She ain't suffering bad. She's pissed off and screaming at everyone and everything. Can't believe she's making me second guess her usefulness just one day later. Not long after sighting him, I had to rush back to the hotel to get Odette. Rose Company was located in one of those fancy high class buildings in the middle of Beijing City. I lost sight of him thanks to it being so crowded, but I managed to learn his plans. A few minutes after entering the building, he made his way back out. Acting as someone there on official business, I asked the front desk about his schedule, to which he replied, he was leaving on a business trip. <clears throat> they were hesitant about revealing the destination at first, but I managed to get them to reveal that he'd be staying in Taiwan for three days while visiting their local branch. Turns out we can hop on the same flight as him if we haul ass over to the airport. <clears throat> I knock on her door, fully expecting for her to flip out at me. Imagine, imagine my surprise when she shuts out of the room, all ready to go, luggage and all. As a side, our phones and credit cards were perfectly intact despite our washing up ashore, so we didn't have any issues buying whatever gear we needed. ちょうどチェックアウトの連絡をしたところだ。は？私がその情報を掴んでないと思ったか？昨日の時点ですでに分かってたんだよ。じゃあどうして俺に尾行させたんだよ？ <笑> 協力関係だ。頼られてばっかりじゃ、私の損だろ。この程度の情報もつかめないんだったら、協力関係を破棄してやろうとダメしてたのさ。She huh. wraps a bombshell on me like it's a casual greeting. The fact that she doesn't mention that she'd do with me if I failed her little test proves how twisted she is. Why do I gotta be testing in the first place? <笑>食えない女だ。何か言ったか。<laughs> we leave the hotel after I rush to get my stuff together. Having it made on time to catch the same flight as Roe, we make our way to the hotel in Taiwan after landing. It's the same boat hotel he's staying in, so we choose a room far enough away from his and then discuss our next move over some wine and cheese. <laughs> あんた ビジネスクラスでいい思いをしたのはあんただけな。あんたは選定の場所で顔が割れてるんだぜ。ローが騒いだりしたらどうするつもりだったんだ。そんなこと警戒すらしてなかったみたいだ。まさか私ら選定の
確かにそいつは妙だな<咳>あいつは明日に台湾支社へ行ってあさってには工場の視察に行く予定になっているはずだどちらもこのホテルからのアクセスは悪くないはずだがまあいいならお前は明日も張り込みを頼むあっはあ今日は飯だ台湾料理はまだ食ってないからな私は海の幸にはうるさいがどれ地中海料理との違いを堪能してやろうぜまいずれにせよ早まって牢を問い詰めたりしたら逆効果だしな地中海はフランスのもんじゃなくイタリアのもんだ海の幸の比較なら俺の方が適任だわな The mayor thinks I take away from yesterday's activities is that the major. Sorry. It's surprisingly, Taiwanese food ain't half bad. Yeah, they could work on their presentation a bit, but those steamed shrimp buns were delicious. Could see myself getting hooked on those rice noodles too. Don't want me to forget that spicy stuff either. Adding some. Do. Bon Jang? And. Okay, listen, I cannot pronounce all these perfectly. Please help me. Really created a perfect and rich balance between sweet and sour. Oops, that's enough for dead impressions for one day. Even though my stomach regrets eating so much last night, here I am in the hotel's parking lot early in the morning waiting for Ro. Once I see him leave in a taxi, I make sure to follow. And now I've been sitting around outside his company building for a good part of the day. Boring as hell. But I'm used to waiting up by this point. The streets of Taiwan really are interesting in sight. Though you can get a good hour's work worth of entertainment for people watching. Too bad I still got another seven hours left. <coughs> As the worst feels like eternity, I finally spot him leaving the building. I figure he'll make his way back to the taxi too, but it looks like he's hoofing it instead. It's entirely possible that the people at the front desk told me he'd only be staying one night just to get rid of me. The fact that he's not going straight back to my taxi proves nothing. He could be going out for a meal with someone first. That much is normal for a corporate bigwig like him. As it turns out, he ends up in an Italian restaurant in the town. A restaurant, to be accurate. Italian restaurants are split into restor restaurantes, tr trattorias, and osterias. It's the fanciest of the three. Okay, got it. Oh, <coughs> The glass paneling makes the restaurant easy to keep an eye on, so I walked into the cafe directly across the, ca the street. It's got glass paneling as well, so there's no danger of losing track of him. I ordered espresso and I dump plenty of sugar into it. It's gonna be a struggle to make this last as long as restaurant meal, but I gotta deal with it. As far as I can tell, it seems like a really fancy joint, like he's made a reservation, judging by how he gets taken to his seat by one of the staff right away. Soon after, someone takes a seat across from him. A young woman, she's wearing one of those glittery red dresses that dirty old geezers throw over. I'm pretty sure he's got a family, but it doesn't take too much for me to catch on to what this is about. She ain't my type, but there's no denying that she's a looker. It doesn't seem like a random hostess either. <coughs> Having discovered their relationship, I spend, most, I spend the rest of my time watching them enjoy their meal. Guess he's picked out a wine beforehand, got a pen to him. Red wine like that will send any woman over the moon, assuming they've got good taste. It's just a shame that he's using his bread to wipe up the left or a pasta sauce. You gotta make that woman feel ashamed to be with you, buddy. The restaurant seems like it's more on the expensive and, and compared to the others around here. Chances are he started going to these type of places more often once he hit a certain age. He has to eat appropriate manners, but sticking to them. Also, dropping old habits can be can prove to be tricky. Not like anyone's gonna call him out for it, considering his age and position. Three hours passes by before they finish eating and enjoy their after dinner espresso. I get myself ready to leave when Roll pays for the whole thing by card. Fortunately, I know exactly what the plan is after this, probably because I do the same old thing. Once they leave, they get into a taxi. I jump into another one and follow them. They end up making their way back to the women's apartment, so. I after I confirm that they've gone inside, I return to the hotel. 
I don't know much about Twinies dogs, but some breed I've never seen before came out to greet them both when they arrived at her place. She waves her hand in dismissal. I guess she wasn't able to learn anything interesting now, so now she's pissed off. Meanwhile, I'm feeling pretty great because I've gotten my hands on some crucial information. <laughs> yep, she's pissed, alright. I heave a quick sigh before explaining what I saw. ロノ真面目そうな顔した愛人our last two attempts were regarding his family and work, but neither caused the card to appear. It might be, might have been because we weren't entirely certain, but a part of me felt that we were just, that we just weren't on the right track. I'm confident about this one though, which is why I direct my comment to the book, expecting it to churn out a card for me. Oi, what's going on? It's not All that follows is a brief period of absolute silence, sans the sound of air conditioning and humming away in the background. <laughs> I have no comeback. All I can do is perennially jam a cigarette in my mouth. She flashed me her standard grin in response. <laughs> I found myself in idle debt after saying that, but nah, I wouldn't go at it with someone like her even if she asked. I head out to have a smoke after that, a little annoyed at myself for even considering that option. We leave Taiwan in the morning and check back in the same hotel as before when we get back to Beijing. I part ways with Odette, who says she has something she wants to look into. Then I start tailing Ro again. Getting anything worthwhile regarding his regret as he goes about his daily business proves to be a lot more difficult than I expected. So I make my way back to the hotel after I confirm that he's returned home. <coughs> <laughs> まあ、どこでもいいじゃないの。さて、あとは日曜を迎えるだけだし、宴会しに行こう。初日に行った店がいいな。あそこの北京ダックは上手かった。はあ。どうも見れんが分かったってのか。ああ。だがお前にはまだ
aback, but she isn't suddenly addressing me. She's looking over the, to the door I entered from. Ro. I push the door, praying the, that the worst case scenario in my head won't take place, and then open it. Ro Chanho, the very man we've been following around, is standing right there. That means he's the one who's been tailing me all along. He continues talking badly, ignoring me. Odette Maranson. He's right, the important bit is that he called her by name. Meaning he's in possession of her name card. He made that clear in an attempt to bait a response from her. Chances are she realizes that as well, which is why she responded the way she did. And that is where I'm going to leave it. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. You rocked with thumbs up. If you're not enjoying it, I can't really please you as much as I try. Let's see what happens in the end. Bye bye.